Last week, markets were shocked by the news that Donald and Melania Trump tested positive for coronavirus. However, today, at the beginning of a new trading week, market sentiment has changed drastically. Despite the shocking news, the US dollar bears managed to gain ground on Friday. In the course of the week, investors expected to see the downbeat data from the US labor market. The report met traders' negative expectations, as the key indicators turned out to be much lower than predicted. This, in turn, has confirmed the slow pace of economic recovery in the US. For the week, the US dollar index, which tracks the greenback against all other major currencies, lost 0.81% having dropped to a two-month low from a two-month high. The focus on the macroeconomic statistics from the US helped the euro extend gains even despite the fact of deflation in Europe. The European Central Bank may well announce a change in the course of its monetary policy and introduce negative interest rates in the near future. Besides, the number of new coronavirus cases is rising every day, especially in Spain, Italy and France. So the single European currency added 0.76% last week, having settled above the key level of 117.00 against the US dollar. Meanwhile, the British pound was in close focus last week. The trajectory of the pound-dollar pair was mainly determined by the news background. In particular, markets monitored the progress of negotiations between London and Brussels on the trade agreement. Unfortunately, the two sides have failed to reach a compromise so far. On Friday, the pound ended the session higher by 1.28%, holding near the level of 1.2928 against the US dollar. The rise in the pound happened as markets anticipated a positive outcome of the meeting between British Prime Minister Boris Johnson and EU Commission President Ursula von der Leyen. This week, investors will continue to keep an eye on the Brexit negotiations. In the cryptocurrency market, trading activity was also high. Bitcoin lost nearly 1% of its value and failed to hit the level of 11,000 US dollars. The sell-off was triggered by the news of a lawsuit filed by the US Commodity Futures Trading Commission and the US Department of Justice against the cryptocurrency derivatives exchange BitMEX. The BitMEX owners are charged with illegally operating unregistered trading platform and violating the regulations, including the failure to implement required anti-money laundering procedures. Amid this new, Bitcoin finished last week at around US$10,650. In the meantime, oil was trading under pressure last week amid weak fuel demand and increasing cases of COVID-19. Besides, the risk sentiment worsened following the news about Trump's diagnosis. This pushed Brent down to the mark of $39 per barrel. Therefore, oil dropped by 6.38% over the past week. It seems that gold benefited the most from the unstable background as investors flocked to this safe haven asset. On Friday, the precious metal closed the trade at $1,900 per troy ounce, having gained 1.8%. You've watched the combined review of currency and commodity markets on Insta TV with me, Anna Kasatkina. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to always keep track of all the latest financial events together with us on Insta TV. See you back soon.